afternoon. My name is Murat Sanmez. I'm a member of the Managing Board of the World Economic Forum, also the head of the Forum Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution in San Francisco. A year ago, in this town, we announced a concept of creating a platform, a place, a dedicated space to accelerate the impact of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, not just for the privileged few who can afford it, but for the rest of the society. It was a concept. It was uh, warmly adopted by a number of uh, businesses, uh, governments, um, and they said, if you set it up, we will be a part of it. And in the original founding team, Japan was the METI, Minister of Economy and Trade and Indus, who was the first government and said, we're in. And in fact, their fellow showed up in San Francisco even before we launched the center. That shows the importance and the attention. Um, we also had Sompa Holdings uh, from insurance sector said, look, these changes have a huge impact on insurance and we're in thanks to uh, Sakura San, followed by Suntory later on as a founding partner. And our goal at the center is to accelerate the impact to citizens and society by bringing together governments, civil society, businesses, international organizations, experts, um, to accelerate, to create these governance protocols, accelerate them by implementing pilots. In just uh, 10 months, sounds better. Should I start again or good to go? Okay, you can replay. Yes. In just 10 months, uh, we have achieved uh, a lot. It was an exciting moment. We established a truly a dream team. Uh, uh, of leaders on blockchain, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, data policy, drones, autonomous vehicles, precision medicine, and the environment, and agile governance. We we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols? Who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love. Keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And we have Bitcoin and cryptos pull back. And we can see the actual yields are slowly rising. And this is going to be a roller coaster ride this week. We have the Fed, 
And we have futures contracts ending, and then plus we get information on GDP. And of course, since Bitcoin and Ethereum took a nice pullback, we see the rest of the cryptos taking a pullback. And we have the crypto market holding on to that $1 trillion market cap. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which, like I stated, they're slowly rising. And we see that in stocks and cryptos. And then, of course, guys, we have volume. We have Tether. Now, we have Tether, Bitfinex, and Hypercore to launch peer-to-peer -peer video calls with app called Keats. And that's being built on the platform Hole Punch. And this is what we call real use cases. We know a lot of people phone bills are 100 to 3 and $400. Eventually, it will all be included inside of your actual internet. Because the only thing you're going to need is Wi-Fi in order to make phone calls or video calls. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And then, of course, guys, we have USDC and the Fed. Don't forget to pull the repo. And then, guys, they're going to be raising rates on Wednesday. And if they do 75 basis points, that will put the Fed funds rate at about two and a quarter. This is going to put a lot of pressure on corporations. And then starting next year, guys, we're going to start seeing mass layoffs. We're starting to see it now, but it's really going to pick up. But we know first they must give us that big distraction. The Fed is not going to take the blame. We've seen this movie before. They're going to destroy this legacy market in order to give the robots algorithms and drones the ability to pay each other with crypto. And then plus, the United States World Reserve currency is going to end. The BRICS nation are going to rise with that digital yuan backed by that digital SDR. And remember, the crypto teacher told you and wrote about it a long time ago. And then, of course, guys, we have Grayscale, which went down slightly on Friday. Make sure you're paying attention to the actual allocations. And then, of course, guys, we have Futures. We have Back on Thursday, which is the day after Jerome speaks. And then we have CME Bitcoin, Micro Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Micro Ethereum Futures on Friday. So like I stated, guys, we're definitely going to have a roller coaster ride this week. And we're going to see how they try to twist this GDP situation because now they're trying to define how we're in a recession. They know that we're already in a recession because we're going to have that downturn. Jerome Powell already stated this last year what was going to happen. But we know they own the media so they can twist it because the average person does not understand finances and they know this. But getting over into a little crypto news. We have the University of Tokyo to offer courses in the metaverse. And guys, we know Japan is, what, 20 years ahead of the game. And you guys know I bought you the Society 5.0 video last year where we actually took the leaders from Japan, brought them to the United States in order to create the fourth industrial revolution. And they say this right out of their own mouth. Now we have Barclay is getting in on the funding round for crypto firm Copper. And we know the big banks and big corporations have been funding crypto from the beginning. Everything is going to be put on blockchain and tokenized. And then lastly, we have Aptos Labs raises another $150 million. FTX, Coinbase Venture, gets in on the funding round for the old Project DM. And they've raised over $350 million this year. And we know no one's putting in that type of money, especially as the market is going down, if it's not something there. We know the NWO projects work behind the curtain because we haven't heard anything about Cinco G. And we know that Skynet. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. They have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, their home stocks, the Sea Red, the Biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day powerful person in the world is the storyteller.
The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim go to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.